Hello, everybody. We're preparing to enter our corporate fast for 2021. I do need you to know that we fast in order that we might grow closer to God and to discipline our flesh, that we might hear God's voice more clearly. The goal of this year's fast is to get away from a restrictive mindset about what we can't have and focus more on tapping into the areas of our lives where we can stand to grow, be transformed, and impact lives. Fasting is not so much about food as it is about focus. Fasting is not so much about saying no to the body as it is about saying yes to the spirit. Fasting is not about doing without. It is about looking within. Fasting is an outward response to an inward attitude and cry of the soul. Now to this end, we are implementing the three M fast. There are four areas of M's that we will focus on this year. Number one, meals. Number two, meditation. Number three, mouth. And lastly, movement. Let's unpack this, meals. We will fast from sun up to sun down, drinking only water after 6 p.m. We will manage our meals in moderation with no fast foods, no fried food, or added sugar. Meditation. We will focus on relevant devotionals provided by the pastoral and ministerial staff that will help us to grow in our daily walk with God. They will help us to be transformed and impact lives for 21 days. We're gonna provide a daily devotion where you can intentionally devote 15 minutes each day to reading, to meditation and prayer. I want to encourage you to write down the lessons you have taken away from the devotional and what changes you could make in your behavior as a result of what you've read. Then I want you to use the writing as your journal to capture your time with the Lord. Mouth. We will follow the Speak Life Fast that we have done in the past. I want you to be mindful of what we say to ourselves and what we say to others. I want you to ask God to give you strength to bridle your tongues and only seek to build up and not tear down, including yourself. Movement. I want you to move your body for at least 15 minutes, ideally 30 minutes per day. This can include walking, working out, exercising, class, playing, dancing, etc. Whatever it might be, I want you to use choose three of the four M's for 21 days as we commit to honoring God in this fast, as we seek to grow, as we seek to transform lives, and as we seek to be um, the kind of agents that will impact the lives of God. Now listen to us. I want you to join us as we seek to impact lives in this fast. I want to give a shout out to Sister Crystal Hale. Hey, I want to thank you so very much for your years of service and devotion to our dance ministry at Carolina Church. The Lord is promoting her to a new position. I want to also thank our culinary ministry with your grab and go, Elder Durham and, and the culinary ministry. Thank you for your efforts. We were able to serve almost 400 meals with from people to people from our congregation and persons in this community. I want to also ask you all to join me in prayer as we pray for Texas, the impact that the storm has had, the, the interruption of electricity, um, the price gouging, the water issues. I want you to help me to pray for those persons there. I'm also praying for Brother Charles Aker, believing God to give him complete healing to his body and all of those who are on our healing list. Now listen, I want you to prepare your hearts to get ready to give. If you've already given, God bless you, thank you. But for those of you who have not, and for those of you who are still waiting for direction, I want you to prepare your hearts to give. We bring unto the Lord the tithe. 
We give unto God his offerings. And I want to be clear on today about what I want you to do as we give to God the tithe and the offerings. We have a preacher today, and my God, do we have a preacher. Our digital pastor, Pastor Sherman Nelson, is going to minister unto us today. And so I want you to be clear that we will sow into his life as well as so into our pastor's life as we in fact continue to move forth and be good stewards over the resources God has given unto us. So now I need you to make sure that you are helping us to be a blessing to our digital pastor as he preached the word of God. Hey, I wanna thank all of you who have helped us with our OOS campaign. That's our Operation Online Services campaign. OOS. There are those of you who heard my plea on last week as I talked about needing additional tools and equipment and uh, cameras and, and software that we might be able to continue to promote the gospel throughout the land. I told you all that we needed about $18,000 additional to what we've already been able to raise by our staff and by our leaders of this ministry. Now we're at 16,000. So what I need you to do, please sir, please ma'am, you determine how you can be a blessing to help us to reach the goal that we might be able to get the necessary equipment and tools and software needed that we can keep preaching the gospel throughout the land. I want you to make certain to ask God, God, what shall I give towards it? And then make sure we have that in by the end of March that we might be able to continue with what we've set out to do. I thank you. I wanna thank you so very much for your continual giving and support of this ministry. Now listen, I want you to, on your mark, get set, 